Hello everyone, my name is Samix, and today I'm going to be talking about why people would want to buy a console or versus why people would want to buy a custom gaming PC. Uh, and I'm finding this to be a relevant issue, especially recently. Uh, me and my friends are talking about it more often, and there's kind of a lot of reasons for that. Uh, one being that there's now all these uh, great games that are coming out soon. That being Division, Fallout 4, Doom, all those kinds of games. Uh, that were announced at 2015 E3. Then there's a the reason like how consoles have now kind of become a good enough quality that they can be compared to gaming PCs. They're kind of like medium to lowish spec, kind of more on the medium side of a gaming PC in terms of their specs. And then uh, this just kind of uh, oh, and then prices are going down on games and the consoles. And then last but not least, people are just always looking to buy consoles. So, uh, I'm going to be kind of, in this discussion, I'm going to be kind of citing a bit on the side of a console, I'll admit. Um, I'll try not to, but I'm just going to be elaborating a bit more on why people would want to buy a console. Because generally there's a lot of people saying, hey, PC is the way to go. If you want the full experience, get the PC. And I have a couple of things to argue otherwise. For one thing... Generally, if you want ease of access and comfort, I find the console to be a much better choice in that it's very easy to set up, especially when you buy the thing. It doesn't require tons of money to and time to get the thing built. And then uh, in terms of programs, everything's kind of an all-in-one. You get all the games from the same place. You talk to all these people versus via the same software. And it's very it's got a very medium... Uh, use, I guess, to it, and uh, and that it is something really you pay for in a sense, and that everything is so convenient, and since er so many people have it, it becomes very popular, and you have a lot of friends that play it, and you meet all these people that can play with you, whereas when you're using a gaming rig, you run into a lot of issues like are you using the same software to talk to people, are you using Skype, are you... You have the same games, you need different software to load games, and there's all these issues that you get when you run a gaming rig that you don't get on a console. And then there's the fact that when people are um, playing consoles on multiplayer, generally you're playing on a level field. I mean, there's internet issues, as that's, that's kind of like the thing that sets you apart from other people, but otherwise, Everyone has the same hardware, so you know that your frame rate certainly it's, it's the frame rate's going to be the same, the resolution's going to be the same, and the, I mean the TV you're using can change that. But generally, it's very similar as everyone else. So when you're playing a multiplayer game, that can become extremely important, especially when you need those last seconds when you're facing an enemy, and it comes down to milliseconds and that the those quick decisions based on those small things you're seeing in the game can end up being life or death or losing or winning. Then another argument is that I like, or that I'm not I like, but I see other people like to make, is that when you want to upgrade a console, you kind of have to buy a whole new console, which can be annoying and it costs a lot of money. People don't want to do that. But another thing that I've been seeing recently is that game software seems to be advancing at a rate that is much faster than games than game hardware is or I should say just in general computer hardware is able to keep up with in a sense that its price is coming down because the rate at which game uh, at the rate at which hardware like gaming um, like graphics drivers or processors their prices aren't going down as fast as game software is developing. So, in the end, I, I think people on gaming rigs kind of end up spending those hundreds of dollars anyway to upgrade. Just, if you want a good, r a really good spec custom gaming kind of graphics card or processor or whatever. And I've, mind you, I've owned a PC, I know this. <laughs> I just didn't really mention that earlier, but I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I had a 360, and then I wanted something more. I got the PC, and now I have a PS4. So I've had a good dose of everything at this point. 
And I do know that when you want to upgrade your PC, you have to spend several hundred dollars, and it adds up fast, easily beyond what you have to spend on a console. So I would ar I would say that argument uh, that buying new consoles and upgrading is buying a new console, therefore it's more expensive, I'd say that's a pretty invalid argument, because in the end, you end up spending the same on gaming rigs, let's, let's be honest here. Especially because they uh, have a tendency to break down, parts break down, you need to replace things, it's difficult to replace, kind of goes back to the ease of access thing in a lot of ways. Now, with that said, for all those uh, things for the gaming console, there is a, it's not to say there are reasons to get a gaming PC. There is the lar this is a particularly large reason, in my opinion, and that is to really get kind of immersion, I think is the main word for that. If you want the best immersion, I would definitely argue towards a PC. Because when you buy a PC, you can get those top spec things, and particularly for VR, oh my gosh, those look like they will run great with great hardware, you get that full immersion, you get the full frames per second, you get the full resolution, those are the kinds of things where you're going to want um, a lot of hardware, you want that full immersion, you want that uh, robust experience. In that case, if you want things like that, then get a PC. That's why I bought my PC, because I wanted to play those uh, games, Battlefield 3, I wanted to play Planetside 2, and I wanted to play those games at the best possible, at the best quality I could. Admittedly, I couldn't pay for the best quality I wanted, but <laughs> uh, I got decent specs at the time, and or a little above decent, and I was able to run those games, and that was fun. So there are re and then there's exclusives for each thing, you know, for consoles, for each console, for the PC. The PC doesn't really necessarily have exclusives per se, as so much it just has games that don't run on console, and. That is, that's kind of your own thing. That's something that becomes very biased for people as to which games you want. But this is just kind of in general reasons why you would want each thing. So, anyway, kind of the main argument I would say is if you want something that is more ease of access, you can sit on the couch, you can uh, just relax, you don't have to worry about things working, you don't have to uh, boot up all these programs, everything's very simple, just turn on the power button, you look, your friends are online, you play the game you want to play, you play with your friends, it's super easy, super fast, get yourself a console. For people that have, are looking to buy a console or a gaming rig, get yourself a console. If you want the um, a really immersive experience where you have um, really high quality gaming um, or really high quality resolution, really high quality frames, um, all those kinds of things. In that case, buy yourself a PC. Is one better than the other? For different people, yes, but there is not a generic PC is better than console like I see on the internet all the time. Like I, even some of my friends still argue uh, PC for the win or whatever. And I mean, that's not to say they don't, they're just kind of throwing those terms around to be honest, but it's still something that's said a lot more than I'd like it to. And some people defend it to the death that PCs are the way to go. And I, I don't agree with that. I will be honest. I think that there's valid reasons to get each. So, that is all I have to say today. If you like this video, please do click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, I do mostly discussions nowadays. I have plans for other things, but mostly discussions nowadays. I'll add more into this little outro once I start doing more. Please subscribe. Share this with all your indecisive friends who have yet to buy a gaming PC or a console. And as you will remember, it does get lonely talking here to seemingly no one. So, let's make things exciting. Comment below, let's have a discussion. That's all I have to say to it for today. Hope you like this video. Uh, have a wonderful day.